What is up guys, it's James from Fishstakes here and today we're going to be doing a really quick video, a really quick guide in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 for the Xbox. We're playing on Series X right now and this is just going to be a very very quick guide on how to set up a realistic flight plan in Flight Sim for beginners. So first thing we're going to want to do is jump into world map and we're going to get straight into it. So you might already know if you've played about with um, flight sim already that you can select your departure airport and you can select your arrival airport here. So we're going to do that right now. For departure airport you've got two ways that you can do this. You can either type in the IKO of the airport if you know it which is a four digit code that each airport has. Um, it actually doesn't have to be four digits um, but each airport has and if you put that in, you'll get the coordinates straight to the airport. So we're going to be starting from Manchester Airport, which is the local airport for the fish stakes. So we're going to slap that IKO in, which I believe is EGCC. And there you go, Manchester, Manchester there. So we pop that in as our departure. And for our flight today, we are going to go to Helsinki. Reason being, uh, Manchester to Helsinki is a flight I've done a couple of times. It's the first leg of the two leg trip over to Tokyo, Japan, um, which I plan on doing fully in this simulator. Maybe I'll do a video for that. But for the purposes of today's video, we're gonna go to Helsinki. So the other way to find an airport is we're gonna select arrival airport here. And so if you don't know the IKO, you can instead just type in the name of the city. So we type in Helsinki, and then that'll bring you up a list of airports in Helsinki. The one that I want is EFHK Vanta Helsinki so we're going to pick that and now you see we have a very very basic flight plan here that takes us from Manchester all the way to Vanta Helsinki in a straight line and that's essentially your VFR direct GPS so that's not realistic it breaks all sorts of um, air navigation rules so what do we do to make that more realistic well for the purposes of this video, as a beginner who wants to just build a realistic flight plan within the game itself, um, there are ways outside of the game, Simbrief, if you want to Google Simbrief, you can find real flight plans that real planes take or have taken and copy them directly into the game. It requires a little bit more expertise with the systems of the aircraft that you're flying. So purely for beginners, you're on this screen, you want to set yourself a realistic flight plan, here's how you're going to do it within the game itself. Come up here to just underneath your plane. Today you can see we're flying the Boeing 7478 Intercontinental. And you select here where you've got VFR. You get this drop down list. So we've got direct to GPS, which is what we're looking at now, which is just point A to point B. You've got VOR to VOR, which will probably be um, a bit of a different video. But then what we want today is we want IFR, which stands for Instrument Flight Rules. Yeah, instrument flight rules are essentially your flight plan that is predetermined in the aircraft. If you're flying an aircraft that supports IFR, then this is what you're going to want to use to make your flight much simpler, to allow yourself to use autopilot, and to fly on a navigation route that is legal. So that's what we're going to go today. We're going to go with IFR. Now, depending on what plane you're flying, obviously you're going to want to pick low altitude airways or high altitude airways. We're flying the Boeing 747. It's a big aircraft. We want to be high altitude because we want a high cruising altitude, so we pick high altitude airways. And then you'll see it gives you all of these different points in your flight plan, which is perfect. So now we know we're following an actual flight plan. It's an actual planned out route from Manchester to Vanta Helsinki, but that's not where we stop. So first things first, you want to come up to your departure airport, which is Manchester, and you want to pick where you're going to depart from today for your flight. You can pick from a list of runways um, or you can go from gate to park and depending on what level of sim you want is entirely up to you. If you want to start from a dead plane and, and start it up and take off, that's what we're going to be doing. Then you're going to want to pick to start from a gate or parking. So we're going to go with um, parking 51 for a large aircraft because we are a large aircraft. So we're going to pick that and that will just change if we come and zoom into Manchester now, we can see Manchester Airport this green dot here is where we will be starting from and now if you look at this you can see that it's expecting us to come here cross runway 
go down this runway and take off. So this will be our takeoff runway 23L. We're going to take off and immediately do a 180 and then fly, start flying towards Helsinki. Now that's no good, right? First of all, it's not realistic. And second of all, you don't want to be taking off and immediately doing a 180 turn. So how do we change our takeoff routes? Well, to do that, we're going to come up here to where it says departures direct. That will directly depart you off heading in heading towards your required destination, which we don't want. So come in here and you have a list of different. These are essentially runways that you're going to take off from. Which one you want to take off from depends entirely on one, the aircraft, two, the destination that you're going to, and three, your knowledge of the airport and whichever, you know, as a beginner, whichever one, whichever takeoff routine you feel most comfortable with. For me personally, I like the Sambar um, 23 right. So that's the one that I'm going to pick. And so once we've selected that, if we come back up to Manchester, you'll see here, we've got this now orange line coming from Manchester Airport. This is now where we're starting from, like I said, the green dot. And we'll come onto this runway here. It's not a far drive to taxi. And then we take off directly from this runway and we follow this orange line which takes us around nicely and then off towards Helsinki so we've got all this time here now on this orange line to turn the aircraft around so that's perfect now so basically we've got our takeoff sorted we've got our flight navigation sorted to Helsinki the only thing we have to do now is sort out our landing there's two ways to sort out your landing you can either request a stars within the game itself but that requires a little bit more knowledge. Stars is a standard terminal arrival. Um, but like I said, that requires a little bit more knowledge. So for a beginner, I would suggest setting up your landing here in the flight plan so you don't have to worry about that as much once you're in the flight. So to do that again, we're gonna come here. Right now we've got arrivals direct. Again, not realistic. So we're gonna wanna pick one of these, um, which again, depends entirely on yourself i like the div arm um for left for this airport so i'm going to pick that and then that gives us an arrival into at the airport here but then again we want to also select our approach to make sure that we're getting a realistic approach now i'm going to be picking um ils 4l because 4l is the the landing strip that we're landed on we know that and ils stands for instrument landing system which essentially is the autopilot on the 747 intercontinental so this allows us to bring the plane down in autopilot which is a little easier again for a beginner normally you would use your ILS systems on landing in bad weather or limited visibility to help you bring the aircraft down safely but I think as a learning experience it's good to learn how the ILS system works and for a beginner it's going to help you get your plane down that much easier so we're going to pick ILS 04 and then that gives us our direct landing route onto the 04 left runway in Helsinki Vanta. And that's it guys, we've got a full flight plan all set out. We've set up our landing, we have set up our takeoff route and we have set up our entire flight plan. The only thing left to do now is hit fly and you're essentially off. Now if you are also flying a Boeing 7478 Intercontinental or you'd like to try and learn how to fly one. The next video on this channel, the next flights and video on this channel is going to be a beginner, complete beginner flying this flight plan. So I've set this flight plan up for our fish steak member Craig and he is a complete beginner at flight sim. He's not touched the 747 at all and will be attempting to fly this flight plan with no assistance and only guidance from me. So if you want to learn a little bit about how the 747 works, make sure you tune in for that video. You might learn something. At the very least, you'll see an entertaining video if it all goes terribly wrong. So if you want to see that video, please make sure to like, um, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when that video comes out. And if there's anything else you want to know in Flight Sim specifically for Xbox, please do let us know in the comments and we'll try and sort that video out for you. I know there's a lot of things in this game that on the Xbox version are hidden away in menus and things that are a lot easier to find on PC. And right now, if you're searching, how do I do this? How do we do that? And you're finding the PC results, it's hard to really figure out how it how it is actually done on Xbox. So if you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments and we'll try and sort that out for you.
the last thing I do want to mention guys is once you've got your flight plan set up if you want to just save your flight plan you can actually hit um, the back button and it will bring up this menu you see down below it's changed now it now says load and save on the back button hit that again and you can either load a flight plan up or you can save a flight plan here that will allow you then to save this flight plan and for future flights you can just load it straight up you don't have to set it up again and you can be off straight away and with that that's the end of this video guys so as i said make sure to tune in for that beginners video in the 747 and we'll see you then peace